Who wants, who's brave this afternoon? Who wants to give it a go? Just put your hand up or unmute yourself and you can just talk to me. Talk to me. Otherwise, I'm going to pick a name. Um, Kamba, did you do this first one? Yes, I did do it. Awesome. Let's hear. What have you got? Um, I got 2x to the power of 2. 2x to the power of 2y. Okay. Um, Open bracket. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm wrong. It's 2x. No power of two. No power of two. Excellent. Good for spotting your mistake there. Yeah, and then inside the bracket? Then you say two x y two x y. Two x to the power of two and y. Two x to the power of two y. Like that? Am I writing yes. it correctly? Okay. Yeah. Plus three. Plus three? And why? Why? That's it. Well done. Excellent. Who got that one right? Show me with a thumbs up. Who got that one? The same? Okay, remember we can check our answer if it's right. We can say, does 2xy times what's in my bracket give take me back to the 4x cubed y? Okay, so let's check that. Let's go 2 times 2 gives me the 4, yes. x times x squared gives me x cubed, yes. And then we've got y times y. Hmm, oopsie. We actually made a mistake there. We shouldn't have a y there, Kamba. Let's take that y away. Okay. And, okay, so that that's better. And then 2xy times 3y. So 2 times 3 gives me 6 x times 3 gives me the x and the y times y gives me y squared now we're right okay who wants to give me another thumbs up if they got that one right no okay anyone else oh we've got some okay there's some thumbs up okay right Okay, well, we need some extra practice, I think, with the common factor. Remember, the common factor is the highest factor that can go into all the terms. And if you look at the 4 and the 6, the highest common factor is the 2. If you look at the x cubed and the x's, if you look at those two together, the highest one, that, the highest x that can go into both of them is only an x. And then between y and y squared, it's a y. Okay. Now, let's move on to number two. And who wants to try number two? Let's have a look. First of all, what kind of factorizing have we got here? What kind of factorizing have we got for number two? What are we going to have to do here? Who can tell me? Hmm, some thinking faces. Yeah? Not so sure. What do we notice between the two brackets? Between this bracket and that bracket? Sorry? There is a negative. Sorry, say again, um, Tansley. Yes, let's hear it. We're going to have to do a switcheroo. Do you remember that? Ms. G taught you about the switcheroo. Okay. So, do you want to um, give us the answer? Or first tell us, how are we going to do the switcheroo, Tansley? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, that's better. And why do we do that? We do that because now we've got the same thing, which means we can take out that bracket as a common factor. Okay, do you want to finish it off for us, Tansley? X minus 3 is our common bracket, so we take that out here. 3x minus 2. So the 3x comes from the 3x over here, and the minus 2 comes from over here, where we took out that bracket. Okay, excellent. Let's move on to question number 3. 4x squared minus 1. Who can tell me what kind of factorizing this is? Who can tell me? Who can remember from their lessons? Let me see who I can ask. Apiwe, can you tell me what kind of factorizing this is? Apiwe, can you hear me? I'm quite scared. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Let's see if someone else wants to give it a go. How about Gerald? Who can remember? Can you remember what kind of factorizing this is? Ma'am, is a difference of two squares. It's a difference of two squares. And how do we abbreviate that? We can call it dots. Oh. Difference of two squares. Okay, so if you are feeling a little bit confused or you can't remember everything, write some notes, okay? Definitely take down some notes. And Gerald, are you going to finish this for us? Or are you going to give us the factorizing? I don't know. I didn't manage to finish it. Okay. Who managed to finish it? I did. Kamva? Do you want to give it yes, another go? Yes, please. Okay, let's uh, hear. You say open bracket. You open two brackets. Yeah, so you've got the two brackets. That's right. You say 2x yeah. plus 1. 2x plus 1. And in the other bracket, you say 2x minus 1. That's it. Well done. Who got this one right? Who got this one? Was it just Kamba? Excellent. Good. Good. If you didn't get there, that's okay. Um, if you didn't have time. Okay. Good stuff. So difference of two squares. And for those of you who need a little bit of reminding, so you go 4x squared. So you take the square root of 4, that's 2, and the x is just the x and the x because x times x gives me x squared and then for the minus one you say plus one minus one because those multiply together will give you a minus one right i want everyone to try this next one and maybe before we start someone can tell us Jaden, how about you maybe you can tell us what kind of a what what kind of factorizing is this going to be Mom, is it a trinomial? It's a trinomial. Excellent. Right, so everyone take a minute now and give this one a shot, and then we'll go through it. Uh, hi, man. Please fix my screen, ma'am. I can't see anything. Sorry, say again. Ma'am, I can't see anything on the screen, ma'am. Um, and if I move it, um, if you're on your phone, then you can um just uh, press on the three dots and you can make it bigger so that it takes up the whole screen. But I um I hope that maybe is it. 
hope that makes it a bit better. How's that? See, I'm Tanda. I'm um, it's still the same, man. Is it still the same? Um, you know what you, else you can do is you can refresh the page. That should also help. Man, you know how to refresh. I already tried that, man. Um, how about you maybe exit and come back in? Okay, man. Uh, Tula, will you just let him back in when he, um, when he comes back? And we'll just wait for him to come back so he doesn't miss anything. No, hope yes, we'll thank you. Okay, so let's see the rest of you if we're going to ace this trinomial. Just wait for Siam Tanda to come back. I'm not sure why we see I'm Tanda's gone, but let's see if someone can give me the how about you, Sebi Sikhle? Can you give us the trinomial factorization? Are you feeling brave? I'm helping you so long by making two brackets. Who's got this one for us? I see Amtanda is back. Who put their hand up? Just unmute yourself and start talking. Oh, Apiwe. There we go. Let's see. It's K minus 2. K minus 2. And then? And, and K minus 15. Minus 15. Excellent. Well done. Can you tell us why you chose those factors, Apiwe? Not sure where Apiwe went. But remember to factorize the trinomial, we look at the 30, the plus 30, and we look for the factor pairs of 30 that when we multiply them, they give us 30 because they're the factors and they must add up to negative 17. So does that work? We check minus 2 times minus 15. If we times that together, yes, that gives us plus 30 if we times them. And if we add them together, we have minus 2 minus 15. Minus 2 plus a minus 15. That gives me, yes, indeed, minus 17. So that's why it works. Okay, great stuff. Right. So today what we are going to do is a bit more of this mixed examples and the mixed factorizing. Um, because we've now covered all the different um, examples or the different types of fa um, factorizing. So now we have to, um, now we we're going to mush it all together and start picking it apart and see if what happens if we just put it all together. Okay, so I wrote some notes here for you. Um, it's often necessary, and I'm just going to highlight some words for you. You don't have to write this down. Basically, what it comes down to is that we are going to be using a combination of different types of factorizing. And when this happens, you always have to start by looking for a common factor. Then you count the number of terms in your expression. Because we know if there are two terms, then what, what could it potentially be? What factorizing do we have when there's two terms? Difference of squares, that's one option. And if there are three terms, what option do we have? That's a trinomial. So we must check then if there's difference of squares or trinomial. Okay, but let's see how this is going to work. So here's our first one. 
And I've put the eyes there because we must always check, check, and check. Okay. That's why the eyes are there to check. So let's start this first one. Okay, so we've got two terms. What can we take out as a common factor? Who can answer me? Let's see. Who has not had a turn today to speak to me? Hmm. Imange? Where is Imange? Maybe you want to answer. What can be our common factor? between these two terms. Two. Two. Okay, so we're going to take out a two. Does everyone agree? Can we take out a two as a common factor? I think so, yeah. Let's take out a two. Anything else? Is there anything else that we can take out? Hey. Just a, thanks, Kamba. There we go. A. Because if I look at the A cubed and the A, A is the highest common factor between them. Can I take out any Bs? Can I take out a B as a common factor? I see some shaking of heads. No, we cannot. Because we don't have a B in the first term. We've got a B in the second term, but not a B in the first term. Right. Happy with our common factor, let's make our bracket. What, what must my first term be inside my bracket? If I take out a 2a, then 2 times what's going to give me 30, 32? It's going to be 16. a times what is going to give me a cubed? a squared. And then for minus 50, 2 times what gives me minus 50? Minus 25, and then the A, we don't need another A there, but we do need a B squared. Aha. Yes. Now, now this is where we need our eyes. What do we notice is in the bracket. What type of factorizing is there? Is there anything? Can I factorize further? See some thinking going on. What do you think? Do you recognize this? If we go back to our notes. We said once we've taken out a common factor, let's check these two terms. So what can it possibly be? Who wants to try? Or type in the chat if you want to. Offensa, you say yes. What do you think it is? Is it a difference of two squares? Indeed. This is a difference of two squares. So we can't stop here. We must keep going. We must factorize the difference of two squares. Okay. So I'm going to make it another color because this is our next step after we notice that in the bracket we have a difference of two squares. And if I factorize that difference of two squares, I take the 16a, so that'll be 4a. Remember, there's two brackets, times 4a. I'll have a plus and a minus, and a 5b and a 5b. Now, I check again. Can I factorize further? Is there anything else that I can take out as a common factor? No, I don't think so. That's where we stop. Okay, so we start by first doing the common factor over here. Highest common factor. And then when we did that, we ended up with a bracket. That's a difference of squares that we have to factorize further. And that gave me the final answer. Okay. Can I see with your thumbs up, thumbs down? How's that, if you understand? Okay, excellent. 
So are we ready for another one? Let's see. Let's go to number two. Let me just fix the screen quickly. Okay. There we go. There's number two. Now let's give that one a go. Let's see. I'm going to give you two minutes to try it on your own. We start while you're working. I'll have a, I'll do a quick recap. We start, we take out a highest common factor. Then after we've made our bracket, we check is there further factorizing we need to do. And then if there is, is it a difference of squares, uh, two squares, or is it something else? Check. And then we factorize that as well. So we factorize and factorize until we cannot factorize anymore. We must always factorize completely. Okay. <clears throat> if you have a question, please type it in the chat so that I can help you. Right. Who can tell me what is the highest common factor that we need to take out? Who hasn't spoken to me today yet? Um, Nulwazi. Nulwazi, do you know what the common factor is? Soma. Okay, so four. Four could be the common factor. Does anyone agree? Or is it something else? Remember, when it comes to highest common factor, it needs to be a number that goes into the 8 and the 18. So just think again about the 4. Okay, Fancy, you have your hand up. Up here where you also have some ideas. Okay, so 2. So yeah, I see you changed your answer. Yeah, that's 2. So yes, that's right. I agree with 2. 2 goes into 8. Um, and into 18, yes. Now, what about the A's, the A to the power of 4 and the A squared? I see up here where you said for the A's, we need to take out A squared. That's right, definitely. I agree with that as well. And up here where you also said then we need a B. Because between B and B cubed, the highest common factor is B. That's right. Now, it can be confusing with these, um, uh, with the exponents, because we say it's the highest common factor, but we take out um, the variable with the lowest exponent. So between b and b cubed, we're going to take out a b, and it's got the lowest exponent. So just like try and wrap your head around that, and um, just get used to that whole idea. So. What are my brackets going to be? What must I multiply 2 by to get 8? That's 4. 
And what must I multiply a squared by to get a to the power of 4? That's a squared. Don't need to multiply by b because we've got a b in there already. Okay. Now, with the 18, what must I multiply 2 by to get negative 18? That's a negative 9. a squared, we don't have to multiply by again. Um, otherwise, we will have an a to the power of 4, you see. So, that's not, so that won't be um, right. So, then... We've got a b to the power of 2 because b times b to the power of 2 gives me b to the power of 3. Okay, excellent. Who got that far? Let's see. I see some hands. Yeah, good. Some thumbs up. Wonderful. Good stuff. Right. And now, what are we going to do now? Because we must check. What is in our bracket? In our bracket, we've got, can we factorize what's in the bracket? And what kind of factorizing is it? Who knows? Let's see who I can ask. Palesa, do you know? Or let's see who else is there. Who else hasn't spoken? Yes. Nokabunga, what do you think? What can we, what is that? What, what type of factorizing? Can we factorize it? Ma'am, can I please answer? Who am I, who's talking to me? I think it's the squares. <laughs> it's a difference, difference of two, two squares. squares. Yes. Two squares. It's no excellent. Kabunga. Hi, Nokabunga, yes, great. So let's do our final step here. Are you going to give me the brackets? Give me the brackets for the 4a squared minus 9b. Hmm. Miss you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you, Nokabonga. And I see you've got your hand up. Okay, ma'am. Um, my uh, mic uh, keeps on switching off, sorry, ma'am. Oh, uh, okay. It's going to be four. Four? A plus. Okay, just be careful because with the four. four a plus nine B. Okay, but be careful with the with the four and the nine. I think. A plus nine B. Okay, not the not four and not nine. Um, do you want to try again? Two A. Two A. Two A. That's yes, it's going to be two A. Minus three B. Two A plus three B. Righto. Awesome. So who got that? Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Awesome. Well done. And guys, that Mike keeps, um, I can't, I just hear little snippets of what he's saying, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, are we ready for another one? I think this is going to be probably our last one. Uh, let me just okay here we go number three now I want to see who is wide awake on a Thursday afternoon who is wide awake on a Thursday afternoon two minutes let's give it a go and then we can go through it remember start with highest common factor then you Check what is in the bracket. Can I factorize further? And then you do that. Let 
Mange, if you can't see the screen, uh, if you are on your phone, use the, these three little dots that you can use to make it bigger. Otherwise, you can refresh. That should also help with your screen. If that doesn't help as a last resort, uh, you can exit and come back into the meeting. Okay, so we already have um, a Piwe over there telling us that HCF is X. Yeah, I would agree with that, Apiwe. Well done. Maybe someone else wants to give us what must go inside the brackets. If we take out the X. Piwi, you've got your hand up. Do you want to tell us what goes inside the bracket? Just unmute yourself and you can start talking. X to the power of 2 plus 3X minus 2X minus 6 close brackets. X to the power of 2 plus... Not sure I heard, but I think it should be X minus 6. Okay, if you did not get that inside the brackets, then you need to check, okay? Remember, we check that if, if we get to this step, we have made the bracket, then we check if I multiply it out, do I get the original expression? That's why with factorization, you can hardly ever go wrong because you always know that you can check your answer and it must be the original expression. Atle Hong, do you have a question? <laughs> Atle Hong, is, is that just giving me a high five because you understand or are you, or are you putting your hand up? Okay. <laughs> Well, if you want to ask a question, just unmute yourself and you can shh, far away. So let's check. X times X squared gives me X cubed. Great. X times X gives me X squared. That's right. And X times minus 6 gives me minus 6X. So that is how you can always check if your factorizing is um, correct. Now... We look, what's inside the brackets? Can we factorize it further? What did you notice? What is inside the bracket? And can we factorize it further? Atle Hang, do you want to give us the answer? Sam Tanda, do you want to give us the answer? Um, I don't know the answer now. What kind of what kind of an expression is this? Yes, who's that? Spalesa? Talk it's to me. Trinomial. It's a trinomial. How do we know it's a trinomial? Because we have an x squared. And then an x minus a 6. It always follows that pattern when you have a trinomial. Okay. So we have to factorize it. Can't just leave it like that. Yes. We have to factorize it. Um, 
it's x on the outside and then yes. x plus 3 and x minus 2. x plus 3, x minus 2. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. Why is it x plus 3 and x minus 2? We look. We need the factor pairs of negative 6 that will add up to plus 1. So does plus 3 and minus 2 do that? Remember, we must always check. So plus 3 times minus 2 gives me minus 6, and plus 3 minus 2 is plus 1. So that is right. So you do a final check. Is there anything more that we can factorize? No, that is it. Okay, so we stop there. Right, so we're going to do one final question for today. Um, I want you to, I'm going to give you this question three to do for your exit ticket. Can you see it? Here we go. Question three. Right, let's all give that one our best shot. First start by getting your common factor, highest common factor. That's the first one. Then after you've taken out your highest common factor, check your bracket. Can you factorize further? Is it a trinomial inside that bracket? Is it a difference of squares? Is it something else? At the moment, I think it should either just be a difference of squares or a trinomial. Remember, when you're taking out your highest common factor, that highest common factor, the word common means it must be in all the terms. It's common. It is like you and your friend. What do you have in common? What is the same about you? So when we look at terms in algebra, the common factor must be in all the terms. So beware, if you say n is the common factor, then check is it common to all three terms. If it's not, it cannot be the, the highest common factor. Okay, who wants to give us the first line, um, the highest common factor part, where they've taken out the highest common factor? Who wants to give us that yeah. one? Who have we got? Nokabunga? No. And then yeah. Yes, go um, for it. Yes. Um, I think the highest common factor is two. Two. Okay. I agree. The highest common factor is two. Yes, the highest common factor is two. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so it is 2, because 2 can go into 2, into 8, and into 24. It's the highest common factor, because there is no other number higher than 2 that can go into all three of those numbers. Why not n? Because n only appears in 2 of our mm. terms. So we can't take out n as the common factor. Okay, so I'm going to move this to show you the first line. Let me see if it works. There we go. Uh, 
Who got that far? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thinking face. Right, well done. Well done. Well done, Donnie. Excellent. Tabby, so well done. Okay. And now, what have we got inside our brackets? Someone already gave us the answer, actually. It is the trinomial. So the second factorization that we must do is the trinomial. And for that, we need the factors of negative 12 that will add up to 4. And let's see. Here we go. Two n plus six n minus two. Who got that right? Thumbs up if you got it right. Excellent. Okay, I see some thumbs down, and maybe just type for me in the chat if you gave a thumbs down what it is that you did wrong. Did you not factorize the trinomial or did you maybe uh, make a mistake with the factors? Don't be shy, just um, type for me in the chat if you can please where it went wrong. Is it with the trinomial or with the common factor? Nandani, Kensani, you guys who's, who's saying no, not, not feeling this question, just let me know where it is going wrong so we can fix it. Okay. Okay, I'm not getting any responses from those guys, so common factor. Okay. But do you understand now, Lindani, you have to take out the highest common factor and it's common, it must be between all three terms must have that as a factor. Okay, sorry, Kamba, yo, it, um, no, no matter if you didn't um, finish it, you can definitely, um, there's definitely more chance for you to practice. Okay. Right, we have to come to the end of our session, but what I'm going to do, because I did have for you today, let me just see where they are, where they've gone to. I have two challenges here for you guys. And we're not going to do them now, but I want you to take them down. And if you are feeling strong, like the arm is showing, if you're feeling strong and you're ready for a challenge, then I want you to try these two questions. Okay, so it's not, we're not going to have time now to go through it, but it is for those of you who are feeling like you, you're ready for another challenge. So I'll give you a, uh, 30 seconds to just take them down. Okay, Kinsani, so I see that it's also about trinomials. You, um, It's the part with the trinomial that didn't go so well. Remember, there are some more exercises and videos on the app that you can still go and watch to help you with your trinomial. Okay. Right, guys, so... Because Miss G couldn't be here today, she still wants to um, uh, have a last session with you guys. So on Tuesday at 5 o'clock when you have your normal lesson, um, she is going to do a question and answer session. So you can bring your question and she will help you with it. Okay? Factorization only. Not just any question, just factorization. Um, so it's it's not going to be so much her teaching. It's about you coming with your question. And you can all attend. Um, it's open to all of you to come to the question and answer session. You actually learn quite a lot from the questions that people ask. Okay. So that is Tuesday at 5 o'clock. And uh, using this same link to come to class. 
Okay. And that's all from me for today. Thank you so much. And thanks for showing up for this last lesson and for working so hard today. And it was really nice um, teaching you. And I hope to see you again soon. Okay, let's give ourselves a clap for that lovely lesson. Awesome. Thanks, guys. You did so well. And keep trying. Don't give up. Don't ever give up on maths. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Tula. Hi, everyone. Um, a lot of you know me already. My name is Tula. I'm a, I'm a mentor with Watobi.